If you spent any time on Twitter in the past 48 hours, then you heard about our next story. Rapper B.O.B. blowing up Twitter with his theories on the actual shape of the Earth. Rapper B.O.B., perhaps you know him for hits like Airplanes and Nothing on You. He firmly believes that the Earth is flat. I get an amen! Woo! So that's right, B.O.B., when you stand on the shoulders of those who came before, you might just see far enough to realize the Earth isn't flat. And by the way, this is called gravity. And I try to show people that science is a way of understanding. Right. And you can't just pull stuff out of your ass <laughs> and claim that it's science, that it's science. because you, you throw some science words behind it. Well, it turns out I was recently in Dubai, where they have the tallest building in the world, sure. and I did a quick calculation, and I confirmed it with others there, that, in fact, they print separate tables for residents at the top of this building because the sun sets oh. later if you are at the top of that building of than if you are at the base. Because that building, oh, and for you have it up there now, uh, that's the actual tweet. From the top, yeah. uh, 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 this this building is, you know, 30% taller than what the World Trade Center was. It's, it's crazy tall. And that's a picture I took while I was visiting uh, wow. Dubai. So the sun sets two minutes later for mm -hmm. you at the top because you're seeing that much farther over the right. earth, over curvature the of the earth. Yeah. Well, they, I don't know if they'd have an answer for that. We live in a free country. I will never want to legislate what people think. Mm -hmm. You can think the craziest thoughts you want. They do. You should just never be responsible for creating legislation. <laughs> Right. <laughs> that affect the rest of society. Legislation should be based on objective truths, not on some belief system you happen to have for yourself that others are in conflict with. So go ahead, think that. But if you try to then influence others, you're actually being, being irresponsible and you are destabilizing the foundations of an informed democracy. Absolutely. It's a fundamental fact of calculus and non-Euclidean geometry. Small sections of large curved surfaces will always look flat to little creatures that crawl upon it. But this, but this whole thing, it's just a symptom of a larger problem. There's a growing anti-intellectual strain in this country. That many, that it may be the beginning of the end of our informed democracy. Of course, in a free society, you can and should think whatever you want. And if you want to think the world is flat, go right ahead. But if you think the world is flat and you have influence over others, as would successful rappers or even presidential candidates, then being wrong becomes being harmful to the health, the wealth, and the security of our citizenry. Discovery and exploration got us out of the caves, and each generation benefits from what previous generations have learned. Isaac Newton, my man, said, I have, if I have seen farther than others, it's by standing on the shoulders of giants. I get an amen. Woo. So that's right, B.O.B. When you stand on the shoulders of those who came before, you might just see far enough to realize the earth isn't flat. <laughs> Yeah, you ain't seen my best. Checkmate in a game of chess. Globalist, see me as a threat. Free thinking, got a world at my neck, huh? And my paranoid picture, Michael Max in a room full of pigs trying not to bust a sweat. Hey, Neil Tyson need to loosen up his vest. They probably write that man one hell of a check. Hey, I'm over here on this side of town. Come on over, 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 over here, try to clown. Hey. I never pipe down if they weren't coming for me, then they definitely coming for me now. I can't even keep my phone charged up. All the shit I'm talking, I should get my own barred up. Rappers, get off of my dick and get your own bars up. Vladimir and Liz's breath got the clone scar, cuz whoop. Use your, use, use your common sense. Why is NASA part department of defense? They divided up the seas into 33 degrees, feeding kids masonry. Bruh, be careful what you read. Flatline, flatline. It's no superior bloodline. Flatline, flatline. You got me once, but that died. Ayy, voice, voice. Do I have a voice? Do I give a fuck? Do I have a choice? Joint, joint. I roll up a joint. Keep my shooters in the game like I hate to disappoint. 
I see only good things on the horizon. That's probably why the horizon is always rising. Indoctrinated in a cult called science. And graduated to a club full of liars. Heliocentrism, you were the sixth victim. Fuck you and your team, you can sit on the bench with them. They nervous. But before you try to curve it, do your research on David Irving. Stalin was way worse than Hitler. That's why the POTUS gotta wear a kipper. I'm a man first for an artist. Did a lawyer look up Dr. Richard Sarda? Bounce. Flatline. You fooled us for the last time. Flatline. Flatline. There's no superior bloodline. Then. So you want to find the farthest point from that center. And it turns out sea level at the equator is farther away from the center of the Earth than sea level near the poles. It has nothing to do with global warming and melting of the ice caps. Why is that? Because Earth, we know it spins once a day. Yes, thank you. Three people know the, how long a day last year. Good for row number two. They're off to a great start. So, so you spin, you know, when you spin pizza dough, it kind of flattens out. Yeah. It gets wider in the middle. And, so Earth, throughout its life, even when it formed, it was spinning. And it got a little wider at the equator than it does at the poles. So it's not actually a sphere. It's an it's oblate. And officially it's an oblate spheroid. That's what we call it. But not only that, it's slightly wider below the equator than above the equator. A little chubbier. A little chubbier. Yeah. Chubby's a good way. It's like pear-shaped. Yeah. So it turns out the pear-shapedness is bigger than the height of Mount Everest above sea level. Bounce. Flat line. You fooled us for the last time. Flat line. Flat line. There's no superior bloodline. This is called gravity. 